Hi there, and welcome to another Retro Gaming Review. In this video we're going to look at a PlayStation 1 title, ISS Pro Evo Soccer. This was released on the 11th of May 1999 and was produced and developed by Konami Studios. Quite excited to play this game as I grew up playing the FIFA games and I wasn't really a fan of the uh, Pro Evo or the PES soccer games. So It'd be quite interesting to give this a go and let's see what it's all about. So without further ado, let's get the PlayStation set up and let's have a go. Okay, so we'll do a people do a friendly one. Little exhibition match. I'll be England and let's play Scotland. Down the night match. Let's start on easy. I'm not used to the ISS games, I normally play FIFA games, so you have to go easy on me at first. It's very good about Terry Butcher to be a uh, commentator, just and today we'll strange choice. I'm quite impressed at the stadium with the flags flying and the flags being carried out. So the England strip it sort of looks like the Kevin Keegan era. Definitely make that David scene in the Scotland away strip. I always like that Scotland stuff, that was really cool. So the little ISS didn't have the um, licensing for the players, so the names are like, being spelt wrong, like, we're so instead of the so for the next Campbell's just to be a record spelt wrong. Sherwood instead of Sherwood. McMahon and him. <laughs> that the arcade style goes up from across the screen. Gotta be honest, this is a lot more fluid than the um, FIFA games around that time. It was called like 99, so you've got you like play FIFA 2000 and I remember playing FIFA 2000 Premier League All Stars, which was quite good. I remember having the um, all the proper Premier League scripts at the time. Being a Sunday supporter, I was really excited because it was one of the first times someone were ever in the um, in the FIFA game. That was before it was just the Premier League teams were in there. 
Yeah. So that's really exciting to see for some wins. He drew his team. Finish the whistle. Like I say, it's it's quite fluid to play. I mean, at the time it would be amazing. I'm used to playing the modern day FIFA games, which are so much more fluid. But this is 20 years old now, and it's still quite good to play compared to the FIFA games at the time, which were really like, sluggish at the time. Oh, never. Oh, Campbell with no pay. Play with ten men now. I think we just play like the same stadium at all times, sort of like the way FIFA used to have a virtual stadium. I think it was on, until. Uh, World Cup 98, I believe, when we had different, but when we used to bring in different stadiums, when we started by like, photographing all the separate stadiums. When the place features are not very recognisable at all, I think the only person who looks anything like them is David Seaman, really. Oh, never! Oh, it'll be hell on again. It'll be special up when we're in the 70s. Oh, it's a bit of fun on that one. Scott Scotland being with that one blue in the starts. Smashing up all the goalposts afterwards with the pitch invasion. Ten year wait it's been. They invaded the pitch ten years ago. And they're here again. This has gone up everywhere, and indeed are going up at Wembley. And you're really divided between appreciating the delight of the Scottish fans, but not wanting to see the ground pulled apart like this. They've even not. Come on! Oh, so close. It's hard to score this game. I've got an easy, but it is really hard. Damn you! Oh, then it's gonna be hell on. Jackson with two S's. Now we'll show you how that last goal was scored again. Oh, Keegan. I remember England did lose to Scotland around this time though, it was the Euro qualifiers. We need that rely on Sweden, I think, to qualify, and then Scotland beat us. I've been done over here. It'd be like another Graham Taylor fiasco, I'd be getting sacked in the morning. Can we not knock it? So we've reached the end of our program today and I'd like to thank Terry Butcher for joining me and for providing expert analysis. Thank you, Martin. And I'm Martin Williams. To all you football fans, we'll see you again next time. I do apologise to the English nation for that embarrassing defeat. <sighs> Sorry about that, England. Oh, back to the review. Okay, so the game itself, um, 
It runs quite smooth for being 21 years old. Um, the passes seem quite fluid. Um, the tackles seem a bit delayed when you're playing it, but it is a, it is 21 years old. You can't expect it to be as smooth as the modern day FIFA games. There's one or two things that are, it's quite comical really, like how they didn't have the license to the real player's name, so they're spelt differently, like she was spelt wrong and like I believe it's Graham Lassau, it, Lassau spelt S-A-U-X, it's spelt Lassau on here. Um, but the, the stadium effects look really cool as well with the flags being flown for the nations and them carrying them out which FIFA do for international games and the lineups of the players as well. So it is a really good laid out game. I think it just lets it down with the not, not having a license at the time and commentators are a bit dodgy as well. Um, so I know at the time there was FIFA had John Motson and Andy Gray. It was not on FIFA games anymore, but for obvious reasons. But commentary is not as good as the old FIFA games. But you know, you can't have everything. Uh, so for that reason, um, this one gets a six out of ten for me. Obviously, I suck at the game as well, getting hammered three 0 off Scotland let the whole nation down but never mind hopefully I can play on this same um, get some practice in and in a later video we'll get some retribution we'll be playing three lions by Skinner and Bedale and we'll beat Scotland and football will come home you never know but yeah it's still quite enjoyable to play and I, I did enjoy playing it and I'd, I'll definitely play it again see if I can pick up the skills and get better at it Okay, so this is this was it for me from this video. Hope you enjoyed it, got something out of it. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe. Let me know what you thought. Any videos you want me to look into, any retro games that you played in the past, any old, if you grew up not playing on FIFA in the Pro Evo range, what did you think of it, let me know. But until then, hope to see you in another video. Hope you're doing well. Play safe. Stay safe. See you soon. Bye-bye.